recording. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Anatama Arif, a PhD student in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Texas at El Paso. I'm feeling extremely excited to be a part of IEEE Sensors 2021. Today, I'm going to talk about injured printed 3D gold electrochemical sensors on shape memory polymer for lead detection. My co-authors are Angela Mendes Contreras, Sheikh Dobi Hussain, and my supervisor, Dr. Robert Sigalberts. Before I start my today's talk, I'm representing here our fabricated gold-based mercury-free electrochemical sensor. The dimension of our fabricated sensor is 13 by 10 by 1.52 millimeter cube. The detection limit is 14.4 microgram per liter. Actual electrode surface area is 4.19 millimeter square. Effective electrode surface area is 90.37 millimeter square, even after min miniaturizing the device. We have applied inject printing 3D additive manufacturing technology on shape memory polymer for fabricating our electrochemical sensor. Now let's start our to my today's talk with the motivation. Motivation can be expressed in terms of social as well as engineering perspective. From social perspective, lead contamination is a huge public health concern. It is extremely dangerous for humans and specifically for children. According to CDC, children are suffering from learning and developmental delay due to lead contaminated drinking water, which makes it extremely important to focus and research and find out a solution for our future generation. Here we come. So we have combined injury printing and SMP shape memory polymer for fabricating a device for detecting lead in drinking water. We have combined injury printing and SMP for three specific reasons, such as quick and simple fabrication, miniaturizing of the device, and increased effective electrode surface area. The reported sensor was fabricated in six easy and simple steps. At first, it was designed using GIMP CAD software. Then it was injured printed using Fujifilm Dynamix DMP2850 with 15 nanometer diameter silver nanoparticle conductive ink. After that, it was miniaturized, centered, and cured at 180 degrees centigrade for three minutes simultaneously. Silver chloride reference electrode was fabricated using masking and chlorination technique. And at the end, gold counter and working electrodes were fabricated by applying gold immersion technology. In this slide, we can observe the scanning electron micrograph images for our fabricated sensor. It is observed from these pictures that the 3D topology of the material are tangled, twin, twisted, serpentine, and uh, squeezed in vertical direction, which support the claims that we have made earlier on, having increased effective electro surface area even after miniaturizing the device. In this slide, we have presented cyclic voltammetric analysis for our fabricated sensor in case of uh, late contaminated drinking water optimized with 0.1 M hydrochloric acid. We have also observed this EV analysis that uh, contained the sample um, without late. So we can see a clear pair of cathodic and anodic peaks in case of lead contaminated drinking water. The right picture shows CV analysis for three millimole of lead contaminated optimized drinking water in case of one minute, two minutes, and three minutes deposition time. This is our final result in case of 14.4 microgram uh, per liter lead, which is below the US EPA approved lead level, that is 15 microgram per liter for our fabricated injury printed electrochemical sensor. So our future work includes testing performance of the fabricated sensor in case of notable sensitivity. And of course, simultaneously, we try to improve selectivity. That means observing the behavior of the fabricated sensor for the simultaneous presence of all the HMIs such as lead, copper, cadmium, arsenic, and mercury in case of electrochemical sensing analysis. These are my references. Thank you everyone for your presence and support for this research. If you have any question, I'm right here at the live session, or you can email me at arif at the rate minus .utip .edu. Thank you again. Have a wonderful evening.